All right, let's go clean out the barnyard out at my place. The bobcats are already out there. Let's hop in the 7600 and go hook up to the manure spreader. Got a little bit of straw back here that I'm spreading before we start working on cleaning out the barnyard. This is from what's in the barn of the bottle calves every day. Go through and clean out the stalls, any wet straw, and we rebed them. And then we use the barn cleaner to fill up the spreader. It's a pretty good way of being able to clean up after the calves. Um, I think it kind of makes easy work of forking out the pens. You don't actually have to fork it into the spreader, you can just fork it into the uh, gutter and then the barn cleaner takes care of it. So once I'm done spreading this I'm gonna go back down into the barnyard and get to cleaning. People keep asking us when it's gonna be time for harvest and my answer to that is very very soon. The corn is very dry. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people around us who are harvesting but uh, for us I mean the longer that we can wait the lower moisture that we can get the corn down to the better but it is gonna to come to hammer time pretty quick here.
So unfortunately, I didn't get all of this hauled out. There's just a little bit left, but uh, if we honestly don't get it hauled out, it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, once it dries up, we'll have to see. They're currently forecasting rain for pretty much every day for the next week. So uh, I'm gonna, not totally sure if it's going to dry up before harvest, but uh, next opportunity that I can, I'm going to try to get back out here and do this again. So. With that, um, I'm gonna go park this thing in the shed and then my truck is over at Rockville still. So I'm gonna hop in the tractor, head back over to Rockville, see what's going on over there. I was hoping that I could finish the rest of it today, uh, but I wasn't aware that it was going to start raining. I really had no idea. Um, when I had last checked the forecast, they weren't saying any rain, but lo and behold. So anyway, let's hop in this and put it in the shed. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Nice and cold. If I can get out of here. this year we had a bit of a problem with calves getting out uh, there was one time where I woke up got downstairs looked around looked out out the front window and noticed that there was a big black spot out in the, out in the yard and um, after letting my eyes focus a little bit I realized that it was a calf and the calves were walking underneath the fence out here but when I came through and I uh, did the barnyard out there. I brought a bunch of loads along here and I dumped them along the fence. Uh, I took loads that were kind of more dirt than anything. I didn't want to get too much organic matter in there. A lot of manure because I didn't really want it to rot out the posts. But um, looks like I need to go through and put some more in. We got a little bit of rain and it washed out right there. But um, it, at least it should do a little bit better of a job to turn cattle because now that it's starting to get cold. It's probably like 55 degrees out right now. Um, now that it's starting to get colder, the cattle are going to be coming back in. We're going to have to work with them. And having a gap in the fence here wasn't going to be a good thing. But uh, next time I have the bobcat out, I'm going to put some back in there and kind of finish up the job. So that should be about it for this video. Uh, be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to tell a friend about, a friend about how farms work if you enjoyed this video. With that, I'll let you all go. Thanks for watching, guys.